Can you email a three day notice to pay rent or any type of three day notice for that matter in California? Hi, my name is Rob Wells. I'm the Landlord War on TikTok and YouTube. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe to our videos. Had this situation come up this week. Uh, landlord tells me, hey, Rob, served a three day notice for rent. You know, um, I emailed it, text messaged it, uh, put a courtesy copy in the mail. And unfortunately, I had to tell that landlord, you know, Sounds like to me, we might have defective notice for that um, notice you sent. So we're gonna have to redo it for you, okay? And here's the reason why. Um, the Code of Civil Procedure, which governs the eviction rules, let landlords and anyone else for that matter to terminate a tenancy and to do an eviction or unlawful detainer have very stringent rules that landlords must strictly comply with, okay? Um, one of those rules in order to successfully evict someone from a piece of property is you have to follow the rules of serving the legal notice of termination of tenancy, okay? And email notice is not in um, the Code of Civil Procedure as a method of service, okay? At least for a residential tenancy um, at this point right now, okay? There's three methods how you can generally serve someone. Um, it's generally, and those are prescribed under Code of Civil Procedure 1161, um, 1160, uh, 1162, excuse me, can't talk today, okay? Um, and those are generally uh, personal service, uh, substitute service at um, the residence where the, uh, where the tenant lives, in, in this case, your rental unit, um, if the tenant is not personally available, but there's another adult there, that's what we call substitute service, and um, if no one um, appears at the residence at the time you're trying to serve the notice, the law allows you to post and mail um, the three-day notice, okay? Now, these rules can be very technical. I'm not going to be able to tell you every little detail in a three-minute video here, but, um, you know, those are generally the three methods. Stay tuned for other videos on the, 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 the finer details because you have to do, you know, do try to serve the tenant in person at their residence. And if someone's not there, if you know their um, place of work or business address, you have to try there too. So, um, you know, bottom line is landlords, it's very technical. If you don't do it right, it could be a defense in court and you don't want that coming up in court. Um, because that's one of the elements you have to prove that notice was proper. Okay. So if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Um, I'll try to answer them. And if you have a situation where you're trying to, uh, um, you know, terminate a tenancy, um, you're in, nor in the Northern California area, feel free to reach out. We'll try to help you out. Okay. Till next time, folks. See you then. Thanks.